Welcome back to Digest a Byte, your go-to channel for all things programming. I highly apologize for the delay in uploading videos, but trust me, it's worth the wait because today we have an exciting topic for you. Today we are going to create a simple yet powerful to-do list using Mojo. But before we dive into the coding part, let me quickly introduce what Mojo programming language is. To those who might not be familiar with it, Mojo is a beginner-friendly language that allows you to write programs with ease and simplicity. It's perfect for anyone who wants to learn programming or build quick, efficient solutions because it is very similar to Python. Alright, now that we know what Mojo is all about, let's jump into creating our to-do list. To get it started, we need to set up our development environment. I am using Jupyter Notebook which is a Mojo Playground. If you haven't applied for the early access of Mojo yet, don't worry, you can easily find the instruction in the description below. Over to the editor, we have a Jupyter Notebook here and I have added some steps to follow along the tutorial. So let's uh, start with the first step. Our data structure where we will store our task or to-do list. So let's start importing our data structure from Vector. I will run the code here to import our data structure and then we will move to the next step. Now let's define a struct named to-do list where we will have methods add task, complete task or and display tasks. So let's start by defining our struct to-do list. Here I am using a parameter and like this. Now I have defined the struct to do list. So let's uh, define our variable where we will store our task which is of type inline fix vector. var task and type of inline fixed vector. And I will pass some parameter here. So the first parameter is the size which is of our uh, it's the type of vector so it needs to be some size and capacity so I will pass here the size which I will explain it later on and the second one is the type of the data structure we will so in our case it is a string so I will use the same like this now uh, next we will define a constructor for our structure it here I will define a variable named capacity so we have a capacity of integer type now I will initialize our variable task like this and we will pass the capacity to our initialized variable. So now we will need to define these three methods like add task, complete task and display task. To um, make the video shorter I will copy over the task that I have previously created and just copy paste it here. So I will explain it to you step by step. So let's over to add task. We have created a function called add task that allows the user to enter a task and add it to our to-do list. If it is already completed, so it will say it will just print out it is completed or if it is not completed, so it will append the task into our data structure and print this task has been added to our list. Now head over to the next step which is complete task. 
we have created a function called complete task that allows the user to remove task from the list. So I have a variable named task length which is the length of the task and there is a temporary data structure that is used to store a new list. It will this loop is for looping over all the previous tasks and remove the task that is selected from the parameter that I have passed in. So it will just clear out the previous and copy over the new task. Next method is called display task. It just uh, loop over all the tasks that we have in our task uh, variable data structure. So it will just display one by one. So I have already defined and created an instance of to-do list here and I have passed a size attribute which, which we have defined here in the start and we have also defined the capacity of our to-do list. So let's add some test to We are almost there. Now let's test our to-do list and see how it works. I will add a few tasks to demonstrate its capabilities like this. So we have add task and complete task and add task and display task. So let's uh, run our instruct code first. So there is an error. This I have um, mistake in the code and then I will create the instance and then I will run the examples. So I will run the code so you can see. Um, so for, for the first method it added the task. For the second method it also added the task and the third method is called it will just remove the first task that we have created. So it says completed task and I have also added the new task. So it added the new task and we can display all the tasks and see which are the tasks like this. As you can see, our Mojo Power to-do list is working flawlessly. It's a simple yet effective tool for staying organized and managing your tasks. I apologize again for the delay in uploading this video, but I hope it was worth the wait. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more programming content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for your patience and for joining me today. Keep coding, keep learning and until next time, happy programming.